Okay, so on to question six, which asks to draw the alkane formed when 4,5,5-trimethyl-1-hexine is treated with two equivalents of HBr. So let's try to draw out this structure together. 4,5,5-trimethyl-1-hexine. So it looks pretty complicated, but if we kind of just break down the steps, it's pretty easy to draw this type of molecule. First, we're interested in the parent chain. So in our case, it is a six carbon chain, and we know that because it has hexine as kind of like the base. So let's draw a six membered carbon, well, six carbon long chain. And Let's number them. So we have, start from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can see that on carbon one, that is where our triple bond is, since it is one hex ion. Let's draw a triple bond on carbon one. And there are three methyl groups. So there's one on carbon four. I'm going to draw it down here. So there's one methyl group on carbon four, and there's two methyl groups on carbon five. Okay, so now that we have all of our substituents in, we can just add the remaining hydrogens to our structure. And you also want to remember that carbon will form four bonds in total, so you can't have more or less. So it, let's say if carbon-3 was bonded to two other carbons, that means it can only bond to two other hydrogens. Okay, so in this question, 4,5,5-trimethyl-1-hexine is treated with two equivalents of HBr. Okay, so what happens is an electrophilic addition reaction. Electrophilic addition Okay, so since there are two um, since there are two equivalents of HBr, that means two bromine groups will be added to the triple bond. So f in this electrophilic addition reaction, there's something called the Markovnikov's, Markovnikov's rule, uh, which states that the carbon, that the bromine will be added to the carbon that has the less number of hydrogen atoms. Uh, so in this case, it is carbon number two. So knowing this, we can draw out our product. So pretty much everything else stays the same. Let's just draw everything else the same. And on carbon two, is where the two bromines will be added. And we no longer have a triple bond. It is now just a single bonded carbon, CH3. 
So if we were to name this compound, uh, let's number it again. But this time, uh, so we have less uh, numbers involved. Actually, let's see if this was, yeah, I think there would be less numbers if we numbered it from the left. We have two bromines on carbon five. So it would be five, five, dibromo. And then on carbon two and carbon three, there are methyl groups. So two, two, three, trimethyl hexane. So let's test to see if we numbered this as carbon one, just to see how it compares. We would have two, two, dibromo, and then four, five, five, trimethyl hexane. So this number is four, five, six, seven, seventeen. And for the name in blue, we have fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so this is why the name written in black would be correct since it has the less numbers in the name. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The structure of reagent 455 trimethyl 1 hexine is given below. Treating this with two equivalents of HBr will undergo electrophilic addition reaction. For the first HBr treatment, bromine will add to the carbon attached to the less number of hydrogen atoms according to Markovnikov's rule. The reaction yields 2-bromo-455 trimethyl x one ene So this is only if one HBr was added. They show what it would look like. And then using Markov Markovnikov's rule again, the alkene formed in the first step will react with the HBr in the second treatment via addition reaction. Hence, the alkane that will be produced is 5,5-dibromo-223-trimethylhexane. Uh, two, two, yep, so the solution is 5,5-dibromo-223-trimethylhexane. Thank you.